I'm not allowed to really talk too much about what I think of the overall game or my review of the game, but what I can do is we could sit and play a little bit. Um, I'm only supposed to show like the first two hours of the game, and then I can do some free play stuff. Um, like hop on to Ryu and Subring and stuff like that. But let's just dig in right now into my RX-7, which I love. And if you guys have any questions, just ask. Now, I have not played the demo, so I don't know what has been taken out of the game and is in or not in the demo. So I'll just go through the menu so you guys can kind of see what's here. Yeah, so last night I did a drag race and um, it, it was a lot of fun. My God, the car goes so fast. Um, actually, let me see if I can show you that. Let me double check the embargo here because I think I can show Okay, let's see. Let's give it a shot. Let's go into... Let's go into career. And... God, where was it? I th Race driver experience? Yeah, IndyCar, okay. So let's do let's do the indie car because the the feeling of speed and cockpit inertia is amazing. Um, I don't know if it's going to come through in the actual stream, but it feels really feels really fast. It feels good. Your next race will be at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway the highest capacity sports venue in the world with 400,000 seats. So I've only done, I've, I've, I've done drag once and um, I did pretty well. I think I got in either second or first place. And um, I kind of wish it would rain. <laughs> All right, here we go. America's ultimate single seater championship in which cars must somehow remain grounded while doing 230 miles per hour on a banked oval. Yeah. So aerodynamics is king, which is why these look unlike any other single seaters in the world. Aerodynamics fact, is king. Every team must use a standard Dallara chassis, but yeah. can choose between a Chevrolet or Honda engine. Yeah, not all tracks have rain, that's correct. Um, now, one of the new additions is uh, the ability to add mods. So for instance, right now, I have two available to me and I can only use these once. They're a single use uh, mod, but it's kind of interesting. I, 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 don't, I don't know how useful these are actually going to be, but it's kind of fun. It's almost like in Titanfall when you can, you know, um, when you could add the modifiers in before a match. All right, let's check it out. All right, here we go. Woo! I love the cockpit view. It's so good. Oh my God, it's so fast. Holy. Oh my God. Ah! No, don't pull in front of me. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm gonna try and draft. Oh, those guys hit. Eighth place, seventh, sixth, fifth, fourth, third. Oh, 
come on. Come on. I'm coming up behind you. No, 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 no. That is not how we drive our Indy car. Excuse me while I pass by. All right. So let's see if we can sneak up on Mr. First Place here. Hey, he's behind me. He's behind me. And we will cut through. Oh, shit. It's all right. We got him. We got him. It's draft. Draft, 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 sneak attack! Ah, oh, so good, no! All right, so we have uh, five more laps. Oh, he's gaining. Ah, oh, but he's not drafting me. Holy cow, I mean, it's just going so fast and the, the steering is really sensitive. Really, really sensitive. As you can imagine. I mean, I'm just gently nudging the stick right now. Man. So I'm playing with, um, with my new X800s, the SteelSeries X800s, and they are 7.1 surround sound uh, headphones, wireless, and it sounds really, really good. I was using some um, Logitech before this, and I was also using the Steel Series, the Prism Siberian uh, Elites, and those are great too. But this is definitely a step up from all those. So the sound of the engine, wee, in my ear, and the thumping and stuff sounds really, really good right now. Congratulations. I mean, am I going to lap these guys? I'm not very good at Forza, so I don't understand. I'm playing on the default difficulty with like drive guitars and assists and all that stuff. This is going to be a new world record. They're going to put my face on the box. Okay, one more lap. I'm going to lap this guy. I'm totally going to lap this guy. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, the default setting does have a lot of assists, but that's okay. I'm having fun. I'm not really much into... Not much of a gearhead or into tweaking stuff or, you know, having real physics and effects on my tires. I'm cool with this. All right, here we go. Here we go. Can I lap him again? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. My car is, that was like $100,000, right? That little nudge. Okay. Tra la 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 la. Oh, shit. All right, final turn. Let's see if I can lap these guys. God, I can't believe how fast this is. No! No, 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 come on! Ah, oh, so close. I'll take first. First is pretty good, right? So what'd you guys think? What'd you think of drag racing? It's pretty cool. Um, all right, so... What other showcase events? The boat around autocross. Not into those, because you got to drive through cones and stuff. Um... Top Gear Showcase, Passing Challenge, uh, High Speed Chase. I did do one of those, that was fun. Let's see what, what do you guys think? 
Or indie, not drag. Sorry. Indie. Um Let's see what the shootout is. Everyone has their favorites. The kind of loyalty, either fierce or subtle, that results in dinner table one upmanship, arguments on the internet, and manufacturer branded apparel. After all, the car you like, that's the best one, surely. Time to settle this battle of the brands in a shootout to determine once and for all who leads the pack and who trails in their dust. That sounds like a lot of fun. But, God, there's so much to do in this game. Let's back out. Let's go check out um, the Top Gear Showcase. Welcome to the Top Gear Showcases, which, as you'd expect, contain many facts and lots of sensible advice, mm -hmm. such as how to play 10-pin bowling without leaving the car, and if you've ever wanted to set a lap time on the Top Gear test track in some of the fastest cars ever to lap it. Who hasn't? Well, it's your lucky day. Oh. Bowling, micro cars, underdog challenge trucks, hot rods, power laps, Land Rover. No thanks, Jeep. Hmm. Um, what do you guys think? Let's try Trackmaster. Let's try the um, Track Day Masters first. And then we'll do bowling, maybe. Your next race will be at the Top Gear Test Track, home to many famous, rare, and fast cars. get to drive one of these spectacular cars for your showcase race. You don't get to keep the car, but you can replay this race whenever you want. go oh my god oh my god look at this thing awful. That's okay. I'm still ahead. Whoa, fishtail. Slippery. There's somebody right on my tail. Totally hear it. Mm -hmm. Okay, not bad. Not bad. And we will break. And we will break awfully. I'm not very good at this game. So, funny story. This game now has a spinner, just like in uh, Forza Horizons 2, where you can get, it's like a slot machine and you can randomly get money or cars or whatever. My very, very first spin. I got the the Bugatti Veyron. No joke. It's pretty awesome. Here we go. Everybody wave. Nice. That was a fun car. I want to spin. Let's spin. Let's do it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. One more. Yes! <laughs> oh, man, I'm, I'm having really good luck. Uh, 
I think the secret to that is hitting the button when you think you shouldn't hit it. I'm always off with that stuff. All right, that was pretty awesome. So let's let's try bowling. Because M4, because Top Gear, because bowling, because video games. Your next race will be at the Top Gear test track, raced by celebrities, professional drivers, and the Stig himself. All right, let's give it a shot. Car bowling is a oh God. simple idea. In fact, it's pretty much like normal bowling, but without the slippery floor and ugly shoes. We've positioned some bowling pins around the Top Gear track. Good. It's your job to knock them down. Okay. Oh, God, it's raining, too. Perfect. Ugh, I love the rain in, in this game. Yeah, I live in California where it doesn't rain, so driving in this is just like... Although, I should probably do... Yeah, much better from this angle. Oh, shoot. Ah, awful, Mark. Awful. Fail. It's okay. It's okay. Uh oh. Bad times. God. Oh, let's go left. I see orange over here. That was better. Oh, shoot. No! That was awful. Oh, my God. I think a walrus could probably do better than me. Wow. Whatever. I'll take it. Go back to showcase events. Moments in sports sounds kind of interesting. In the old days, motor racing was a matter of life or death. Drivers, like men who went to war, might never come back from the front line. Others would make it through, only to be sent on new missions with ever more powerful weapons. And just like the arms race between superpowers, Car manufacturers would battle for supremacy on the track. That's right, they would. Here, you can step back in time and see for yourself what it was like to live in this thrilling era. As we relive some of racing's most famous moments and celebrate the people who made them. Guys, don't forget to follow me on Twitch. Um, I plan on streaming um, Halo Guardians when that comes out. I should be getting a review copy of that and Fallout 4 and all that stuff. So... Follow me on Twitch so you can get a notification when I go live with these games. Early endurance prototypes. Ah, oh, it sounds pretty good. Classic. Vintage experimental. We have to do vintage experimental prototypes. We have to. We have to. You guys are not going to talk me out of this. The race will be at Lime Rock Park. A course that looks simple, but is very difficult to drive quickly. Yeah.
Pan Am stood for Canadian American because that's where the races happened. Wow. Motorsport language, Look at those cars. A formula Libre, which in amazing. layman's terms means anything goes. The result was a wild all you can eat buffet of engines and aerodynamics buffet. leading to an incredible arms race and cars that topped mm. 1500 horsepower in ah. qualifying trip. Engin all right. We're going in. Is that what I'm driving? Oh. Man. Yeah, Clarkson's in here. I heard him. I heard him once. I think it was when I was doing the the Fort Savista stuff. Look at this. Look at this car. Wow. Oh man, this car's so chunky. Whoa! Excuse me. I need to. I'm trying to cut the grass here. Got a package, people. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's fine. That's fine. I'll just go around you. Ugh. Yep. Boy. It's a beauty when I drive, isn't it? <laughs> would you, would you stop? Oh, this is not going to be good. You know what? I'm going to rewind because that was awful. One more time. Okay. This is this is seriously this is that is the best mechanic in the game because I cannot stand racing games where you spend 20 minutes racing and then you hit a blade of grass, you spin out, and you have to start all over. So the rewind feature is huge. Uh, a car. Look at that thing. Ah, I'm gonna stop looking at that car. All right, well, where are we? We're in seventh place. Sorry, we could do this. We can do it. We can we can get the first, right? Got my buddy in the chopper up there. Get the chopper. I I beat Omega Man 1970. All right, all right. Here we go. Fourth. Parking brake. Kind of weird that this car has a parking brake, though, right? Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, what is that? What is that thing? Is that that's not what I'm driving, is it? Oh shit! All right, I gotta pay attention here. Second place, I mean. Laps! I just noticed that. Twelve laps? Are you kidding me? They'll go by quickly, right? Twelve laps? That'll go by super fast. Whoa, 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 whoa. That car looks like it's from the moon, doesn't it? It's great. I'm going to drive it. All right, I'm in first. So um, let's see what we can do here. Let's see if we can practice... Are dri drafting, drifting. Okay. Damn, this car is squirrely. I'll tell you what, 1080p, 60 frames. Mm -mm. And I want to be, I want to be up in those hills up there, eating burgers, dogs, hanging out. I mean, this is pretty fun too. But they should make DLC for Forza, of the Spectators Pack. Just hang out, eat dogs, 
You know there's a lot of tasty food over there. Probably, probably Twinkies, Ding Dongs. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. I'm trying to make it through 12 laps. I think that's what's happening. All right, let's try and take this corner like a pro. Oh my God, that was per that was perfect. Did you see that? All right, maybe that's what I need to do. I need to break a little longer. Let's try. Mm, maybe this car is just too heavy. I don't know. Or I suck. I wonder if I'm supposed to be driving this car like modern day today, or I'm actually like in the 80s driving this car. What do you guys think? Because I think it'd be cooler if it was, if it actually took place in the 80s. I can't see the clothing. It's probably modern day though, right? Let's look at the copter. That doesn't look like Airwolf to me. Whoa, okay. I just wanted to give uh, give those guys the chance. That's why I did that. <clears throat> yep. Nah. There we go. Those guys, they just want to be back in the race and I felt bad for them. It's Tommy. We go way back. Ooh, got a badge. Okay, we're halfway through this, guys. Stick with me, we can do this. Right? We got this. Should I do a pit stop? I don't think I can. I don't think I can do a pit stop. My car's from the 60s, okay. So, I'm wondering if it takes place in the 60s. I don't think it does, though. This is. This is, those trees definitely look very 2015 to me. I should probably have this on a more... Oh, there is... Oh, I can get off. You know what? Next lap, let's do it. Come on, Mark. Hello. I was joking about cutting the grass. I didn't have automated lawnmowers ride it, sit on lawnmowers in the 60s. Oh, I forgot to go in there. All right, we'll do a next lap. Kind of interesting, if you look at the car, if you look at the car, it's starting to get more and more dirty. Like the windshield is getting, at least to me, it looks like the, the, the windshield is getting like asphalt and speckles of dirt. That's 
go to a different view. This is a this is a good view. I mean, cockpit is my favorite, but this is this is pretty great. I don't like that one because it's like you're Superman flying on a track. Eh, Grand Theft Auto. All right, we're on. We're nearing the end, folks. We're on uh, lap ten here. And uh, oh, 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 look at this guy. Hey, buddy. No mowing the lawn. That's my job. Now get behind me. You came our lawn mower. All right. Oh, 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 oh. All right. Should I should I stop off at that uh, at the pit stop? I keep saying it, but I think I'm actually gonna do it this time. I mean, is that, that's gonna make me fall behind everybody else, right? Let's just see it. Let's see what happens. I mean, what are they gonna do? Kick me off the track? I am Lawnmower Man. Woo! Oh, pitting, oh, it is, it's a thing. That actually, I didn't think it would actually do it on this track. Okay. So that did what? Because my car is still damaged. Ah! Oh boy. Yep. All right, one more lap. This is the penultimate lap. We can do it. We got this. We're sticking together, guys. It's me and the rest of you. All together now. We got this. Good turn, thank you. It is kind of funny how the game is constantly reassuring you. Good turn, good pass. But it doesn't really tell you when you're doing badly. All right, last lap, here we go. Lap 12. Let's see how many, how many cars I can lap. This is serious business now. Watch out, buddy. Break into the turns and accelerate out of turns. Break, break, break. Accelerate. I'm actually ready for this this track to be over with. Here we go, here we go. Let's see if we can catch this guy and lap him before we get to the finish line. Oh, it's my twin, too. Draft, 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 draft. Come on, perfect draft. Hey, we'll take it, though, right? Not bad. I mean, I pitted, too. Yep, pop that achievement. Oh, I got a spin. Let's see. Let's see what we get. Now you try to tap it when you think you shouldn't tap it. Like right now. Ah. Well, it wasn't the worst. Excellent. Let's go back. Okay. Let's go back out. And I jacked that car up. Let's head out and let's go back into just like the regular career. We'll do a race there. Some of these look so early endurance prototypes. Don't really want to do another endurance. Back out. 
back out. Let's race the RX-7. One of my favorites. The next race will be at Brands Hatch, featuring the Brabham Straight, so named for the legendary race driver Jack Brabham. All right. This music is funky. Mm. All right, so who who here is definitely getting Forza 6? That is Hello, Julian. All right, here we go. This car is not souped up at all. It's just stock, but I love this car. Mm. Trying to make my way on the outside. Yeah. Weave in and out, weave in and out. Like a wicker basket. Ah. Man, I miss my Arc 7 so much. Oh, and I miss cutting the lawn, too. Boy. Yeah. Go, 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 go. In, in. What's the lack of vibration? What do you mean? He's talking about the rumble in the controller? Or do you mean like the rumble? Oh, you mean like high speed vibration? You know what? I actually don't know how many tracks it has. Somebody in chat could probably answer that question more accurately than I can. But I think I'm pretty sure Forza 6 has more everything than Forza 5. Like a lot more cars, a lot more tracks, has day and nighttime, plus weather. Like the rain effects are incredible. And driving in the rain, I thought was gonna be pretty gimmicky, but it's not, it does affect driving, especially when you hydroplane. And so you sort of have um, the obstacles on the tracks. Do I wanna drive through the puddle or do I wanna try and work my way around it? It's interesting. Twenty six tracks. Oh, cool, Mobius. Yeah, it's um. You you know what game I think I'm I, I hear you about the vibration like the speed wobbles and vibrations. You know what game did that really really well it was Need for Speed Shift. And I don't remember if it was the first or the second one. I think it might have been the first. But I remember the effects of driving really quickly, like in um, in one of the prototype or high-performance cars. I remember it being really effective. I am playing with a controller, yes. Just the regular Xbox One controller, not the Elite. I love how driving the RX-7, I didn't notice it um, 
when I was just using the speakers on my TV, but now that I'm using these X800s, I can I can hear the 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 turbos actually sucking in the oxygen. <laughs> it sounds so good. First place, I'm in first place. I am in the first place. I am in first place in this, this game. First place in the game. First place in the game. Up, 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 up. How many more laps? Oh, one more lap. The penultimate lap. Um, when I oversteer with the ARC-7, does the trigger vibrate to communicate the loss of traction? Let me see. A little bit, yeah. It's mostly controller. I think I can feel a little bit in the trigger. Hold on, let me let me do it a couple more times to be sure. No, I think it's just in the controller. I don't feel it in the triggers. I think that's kind of reserved for braking and strictly accelerating. Feedback on, you know, with those two, those two things, not just, yeah. This is it, this is it. And the mu music is telling me this is it. The music's telling me I'm the one. The music's telling me I'm gonna be doing shirtless volleyball with Tom Cruise on the beach if I win this. Here we go. Here we go. I can see it. I can see it. Oh. Awesome. All right, guys. Well, uh, this is, uh, that's it for me. I am all done. I'm probably gonna stream later today, but I need to take a break. I need to put some food in my mouth. I need to drink. I need to have some coffee. And uh, I will be back later. So thanks for hanging out. Don't forget to follow, don't forget to follow me on Twitch so that you can um, get an alert when I go live with my other, with streaming other games, like, um, um, Halo Guardians, I'll have an early review copy of that. Um, Fallout 4, a bunch of other games that are coming out. So um, thanks for hanging out with me and uh, hopefully I'll see you later today.